Hello there! In this video, I'm going to talk about the Dufferin streetcar. This is a streetcar that most people don't know existed, and that's partially because this streetcar had a real on and off life. And yet, it is a streetcar that technically exists today. So, let's get into the video. The origins of the Dufferin streetcar starts in the early 1900s. Prior to this, Dufferin Street was a concession road, with most of its development being residential between Queen Street and Eglinton Avenue. Dufferin Street itself for a time wasn't even part of the city of Toronto, but was part of the village of Parkdale. Dufferin Street was also split in two by a railway overpass which created a jog in the road along Gladstone Avenue and Peel Avenue to link the two branches of Dufferin Street. It was for this reason that the streetcar on Dufferin never extended beyond Queen Street, even into today. Streetcar tracks were laid on Dufferin Street after 1891 as part of the tail end service of the Queen and King streetcars. The tracks primarily served as access to the west end of the exhibition grounds and would be used during the Canadian National Exhibition. However, outside of the CNE, tracks saw little use as the Queen and King streetcars continued west along their respective routes to the Ronsonsvale area. The south end of the line ended at a crossover, however this would change in 1894. In that year a loop was constructed with tracks running along the north side of Springhurst Avenue, then called Huxley, along a private right of way, and then onto another right of way alongside the Grand Trunk Railway tracks. This loop would become what is today Dufferin Loop. The tracks along Springhurst Avenue would eventually be realigned onto the street itself when it was widened and paved over. The Dufferin streetcar itself would come into existence in September of 1914, shortly after the start of World War I. At this time, the exhibition grounds became a staging ground for troops awaiting transport out east and eventually over to Europe. The military would ask the Toronto Railway Company to provide streetcar service along Dufferin to help move the soldiers, as at this time, Dufferin Loop was the only connection to the streetcar system from the exhibition. The exhibition loop we know today would, wouldn't open until 1916. The TRC, however, was reluctant to provide this service and ultimately only provided a single double-ended streetcar that shuttled between Dufferin Loop and King Street. This service may have only lasted a couple weeks at most, although transit historian John F. Bromley could find no information about when the service officially ended and speculates the service may have only lasted a week before being cancelled. The Canadian military would go to the mayor of Toronto, Thomas Langton Church, and the Ontario Railway and Municipal Board to compel the TRC to reinstate the Dufferin streetcar. With this formal request, the railway board would request the TRC re-establish service along Dufferin Street. The TRC would do so as a trial run for a week starting on February 2nd, 1915. The TRC would run this trial route with a larger palace car, which was a term used for the TRC's double-trucked cars. This line, like its previous iteration, would operate between King Street and Dufferin Loop. However, just like its previous counterpart though, when the service ended is also a mystery. John F. Bromley found no information about the car after its week-long trial, so it's impossible to say how long it operated. It is possible the line operated for the entire duration of the war, or it is possible it disappeared before the war ended. Regardless, the Dufferin Streetcar was gone by December 31st, 1918, although the exact date is unknown. For years after the war, service along Dufferin Street would be provided by other routes during the Canadian National Exhibition. This would continue past 1921 when the TTC took over streetcar operations in Toronto. The Dover Court streetcar would become the primary route serving the exhibition, with the streetcars at first following the route from Queen Street, but eventually also following it from King Street as well. The Dufferin streetcar would reappear on July 1st, 1925, replacing the summer extension of the Dovercourt streetcar along Dufferin Street. This service would operate every day from 2pm to 10.30pm, running between King Street and Dufferin Loop. 
It would utilize a single double-ended car, formerly owned by the Toronto Civic Railway. If traffic warranted, a second car would be added to the line. The Dufferin Streetcar would operate every year up to and including 1939. Service on the line would end the day before the Canadian National Exhibition, as the next day multiple other routes would be realigned down Dufferin Street for service to the exhibition. However, the Dufferin Streetcar would operate on Sundays, since the exhibition did not open on Sundays at the time. With the start of World War II, the Dufferin Streetcar would begin operating outside of the summer months again to ferry local residents to and from King Street and ultimately access to the many factories in Toronto. This service would operate every Monday to Saturday during the afternoon rush hours until 9.30 p.m. Service would operate through the winter, although service was temporarily suspended on June 8, 1940, and no replacement bus was offered. Service would resume on July 1, 1940, with daily trips operating between 2 p.m. and 10.30 p.m. In 1941, the Dufferin Streetcar would once again become a summer-only service, operating from July 21st to August 21st. After this, the Dufferin Streetcar would not be seen again for four years. By this point, the exhibition loop had opened, and so now service to the exhibition grounds, which was being used by the military again, was provided by the Bathurst, Fort, and Rush Hour service on the Lansdowne streetcars. Only the odd King streetcar would run to Dufferin Loop as a short turn service. The Dufferin Streetcar would once again enter service on September 4, 1945, and operated during rush hours with a single double-ended car. This service would be cancelled on April 27, 1946, but was then brought back yet again on July 14, 1947, and operated until August 21, 1947. Service would resume again on September 8, but was then cancelled again on September 11. In 1948, the Dufferin Streetcar would come back again on August 20th, but would then be cancelled six days later. Service would resume on September 12th, but then be cancelled again on September 15th. By the end of 1948, the TTC had retired the last of its double-ended streetcars. Due to the crossover at King Street and the TTC's disinterest in weighing streetcars at intersections, service on the Dufferin Streetcar would be replaced by buses but only temporarily. Service on the streetcar would once again resume on August 18, 1950, with a single-ended car operating from Dufferin Loop in the south to a loop via King Street, Shaw Street, and Queen Street in the north. This service would be cancelled on August 24th, before starting up again on September 10th. The last day of service on the Dufferin streetcar would come on September 13, 1950, and with it the end of 36 years of service. Dufferin Street would be without transit service until March 26th of 1951. On this day, morning tripper service along the Kingston Road Tripper was routed north along Dufferin Street from King Street to Queen Street. This service would be altered on November 26, 1951, with the tripper cars now operating south on Dufferin Street to Dufferin Loop. With these tripper cars, the TTC felt there was no longer a need for the Dufferin Streetcar. These tripper cars would operate along Dufferin Street until the end of 1962, when the morning cars were extended to Ronsonsvale. Afternoon cars would still operate on Dufferin Street between Queen and King Streets. However, these two would be extended to Ronsonsvale on May 21, 1963, thus ending streetcar service on Dufferin Street again. Through the 1950s and 60s, Dufferin Street began to emerge as a major artery north of Eglinton and would see new bus routes emerge to serve it, including the 29 Dufferin Bus and the short-lived Briar Hill Bus. Eventually, the development along Dufferin would make its way into the downtown core, and as such, on September 5, 1961, the 73 Dufferin South Bus would come into existence. On March 26, 1962, this route would be merged with the 29 Dufferin bus, and its route extended down to Dufferin Loop. With this, any hope of restoring the Dufferin streetcar would evaporate. The story of the Dufferin streetcar doesn't truly end here, however. 
Not only were there discussions of bringing back the line, but the line did in fact come back, albeit not as an independent service. The first talks of a resurrected Dufferin streetcar came in 1997, when the TTC looked at what bus routes could be converted back into streetcar routes. Of these, Dufferin was one of the routes cited. Tracks already existed along the line between Dufferin Loop and Queen Street, so the question became if they could be extended beyond to Bluer Street. It is here, however, that problems with the idea began to surface. The biggest of these being the northern terminus at Bluer Street and Dufferin Station. The problem here being that an underground loop would need to be constructed at Dufferin Station for the line. This, as one can imagine, was cost prohibitive and complex. The 29 Dufferin bus at the time also didn't have the ridership to justify streetcar service, although perhaps that is a different story today. Today the 29 Dufferin is one of the most heavily used bus routes in the city, and is a source of pain for those commuters who have to use it. However, if the idea of an independent Dufferin streetcar was still off the table, the idea of streetcar service along Dufferin Street certainly wasn't. With the construction of a loop along Cherry Street in the recently redeveloped Donlands neighborhood in preparation for the 2016 Pan Am Games, streetcar service would return to Dufferin Street. On June 19, 2016, the 514 Cherry Streetcar was established, with the route running from Cherry Loop to Dufferin Loop via King Street. This service would be ended on August of 2018, and for a brief time Dufferin was once again without streetcar service. However, on October 7, 2018, the King Streetcar would split into branch services with the new branches taking over from where the 514 Cherry Streetcar left off. In the case of Dufferin Street, service would be provided by the 504B King Streetcar which operates from Broadview Station to Dufferin Loop. The Dufferin Streetcar has seemingly done the impossible, being one of the few streetcar lines to be abolished but then resurrected later albeit not as an independent service. So what about an independent Dufferin streetcar? There is certainly merit to the idea, and of the lost streetcar lines in Toronto, it is one with a good bit of potential. In fact, enough potential that the new underpass built at Dufferin and Queen Street is designed to allow a future northern extension of the line. So what could this look like? Obviously, the elephant in the room for a Dufferin streetcar would be its northern terminus. As noted in the 1997 report, linking the Dufferin streetcar to the Dufferin station would require a costly underground loop, and while this is possible, I doubt the TTC could find financial support for the project from the city and the province. An alternative could be to route the line to Ossington Station. I say this because Ossington Station already has a bus terminal, and its design would be conducive to a streetcar loop. I do believe an updated Ossington bus loop for streetcar use as well as laying some tracks along Bluer Street would be cheaper and less complex than constructing an underground loop at Dufferin Station. To me, the Dufferin ideas and the Ossington idea are the only realistic ideas for the northern terminus of an extended Dufferin streetcar. In my video about the Dovercourt streetcar, I proposed the idea of extending a Dufferin streetcar up Dovercourt and Davenport Road to Townsley Loop thus resurrecting both the Dufferin and at least half of the Dovercourt streetcar. This is however pure fantasy on my part, and while it is possible to reinstall tracks along Dovercourt, Davenport and Old Weston Road, it is practically certain not to happen. So we are ultimately left with either the costly underground loop at Dufferin Station, or a loop at Ossington, which while cheaper may be a diversion of the line the TTC would like to avoid. Either way though, the Dufferin Streetcar technically exists today as it did back then, trundling between King Street and Dufferin Loop, this time however as a branch of the King Streetcar. Even with its on and off history, it's clear the Dufferin Streetcar is a route which refuses to die, and its potential grows with each year. As development continues to expand in the area it serves, such as Liberty Village, it is clear the Dufferin Streetcar, be it an independent service or a branch line, is as important today as it ever was, and perhaps its story is not yet finished. But with that, I will end this video.
Thank you for watching this video, and if you enjoyed it and want to see more like it, please hit that subscribe button because there are more videos like it on the channel, and there are more videos like it on the way. And if there's anything you want to say about the Dufferin Streetcar, don't be afraid to do so down in the comments below. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.